Pedas, Shaila Filipa dari <laughs> Alter Ego. Thank you. Wow, the real goddess sudah muncul di hadapan kita ya. Good luck. Oke, okay, baiklah untuk itu saya akan menggunakan para juri untuk Shaila Filipa. Head judge, Henry Kurniawan. Sensor judge satu Gisel, sensor Welcome. judge dua Kevin, technical Welcome. judge Oki, dan Welcome. shadow judge Rainer Oswald. Untuk itu kita berikan sekali lagi tepuk tangan virtual untuk Sheila Filipa. Judges, are you ready? Fantastic. Can I have my music please? Time. Hi, I'm Shayla, your barista and bartender for today. Welcome. Both baristas and bartenders share an equal love for their craft, but the source of inspiration when it comes to utilizing coffee is different. My inspiration for the drink served today is a coffee process that produces highly expressive flavors, carbonic maceration, starting with my cold designer beverage called Empress Josephine. I'll be back shortly. Carbonic maceration is an innovative and relatively new process borrowed from the wine industry. Whole cherries are picked, sealed in airtight bags, and introduced to CO2, encouraging fermentation of particular strains of yeast that intensifies the aroma and flavor. Judges, I'd like to let you know that each ingredient represents the tasting notes of the final cup. But don't worry about writing everything down. You can always refer back to the menu in front of you. Your drinks today feature a pink bourbon variety from Finca La Virginia, a humble little farm that makes incredible coffee. Oops. It happens. <laughs> makes incredible coffee produced by Rafael Amaya. With the recipe 18 grams in and 42 grams out, it brings out the tasting notes of rose, raspberry sweetness, and a dark chocolate aftertaste. Judges, I will prepare for the Irish coffee in just a minute. And afterwards, we will continue building the drink. Thank you for waiting. Empress Josephine starts with a tailored spice pan of 1 gram cinnamon bark, 0.2 grams of grated nutmeg, 1 green cardamom, and 0.2 grams of vanilla powder. These dry ingredients will be rapid infused with 20 ml of Saba Distillery's vodka for a strong, yet smooth extraction. While we allow those ingredients to extract, let's begin building our drink. And it starts with 20 ml of plantation rum, a blend of Barbados and Jamaican rum rested between three to five months in wooden vats. The rich flavors are enhanced through meticulous blending and further maturation, contributing to the flavor notes of light molasses and a spice smoke quality. 20 ml of raspberry rose syrup to complement the espresso with a juicy mouthfeel 
and floral complexity. 10 ml of Demerara sugar syrup to bridge all of the ingredients flavors together and add viscosity. Next is 42 ml of our espresso. I will be chilling the espresso in a hyper chiller to reduce the temperature of the espresso to eliminate the crema for any bitterness. Meaning in a commercial environment, we'll always be able to pull you a fresh shot instead of preparing it and having the quality diminish as the day goes on. This drink makes a great addition to a high-end cafe or cocktail bar. It's the kind of drink you'd want to invite guests to understand the characteristics of each ingredient and how it influences the cocktail, just like I'm doing for you today. So in it goes, the hyper chiller. Give it several swirls, and out comes cold. The drinks will be served to you at a temperature of 6 degrees, the perfect dilution and temperature that opens up a bouquet of flavors. So I'll do this for you now, excuse me. It seems that I have forgotten one very, very important ingredient. 10 ml of our infused spice blend. It's not every day for a warm spice sensation. It's not every day that you taste spices such as cardamom or nutmeg in your coffee. So I added this to give a little more personality as a coffee cocktail. Garnished with a fresh Empress Josephine rose petal for a delicate rose aroma to accompany every sip. Please enjoy. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thank you. For my second course, it'll be my Irish whiskey <laughs> called English Toffee Irish Whiskey. Irish Coffee, sorry. I'm brewing with the same coffee, but extracting it differently. It's an Omni Roast Profile roasted eight days ago, making it versatile enough to pull a shot and brew a pour over, which I've chosen, for it to, do, chosen to do for you today. So, an outstanding coffee calls for an equally outstanding spirit. 30 ml of Glen Goins 12 year old, the hand picked sherry casks creates a unique bright flavor profile that complements the coffee, contributing to the flavor notes of fresh coconut milk and toffee apples. 20 ml of Jameson Irish whiskey for a marzipan flavor because of Jameson's vanilla and nutty forward flavor notes. 30 ml of light cane sugar syrup to coax the vanilla flavors from the spirit and the coffee. The drinks will be served to you at a serving temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. The temperature with the best balance of flavors and thank you, a buttery mouthfeel.
Irish coffee typically calls for a cream with heavier fat content because of those made with espresso to balance out the bitterness. But because I'm using a pour over, I'm using a cream with only 15% fat content. It comp Although it is low, it complements the overall light flavor profile of my Irish whiskey. Thank you. Experimental processing can be a revolutionary step towards creating better coffee cocktails. I hope my creations today has demonstrated that. Please enjoy, thank you. Please enjoy, thank you. It's been a pleasure time. <laughs> goodness, 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 goodness. Pick up, pick up. Capek banget ya kelihatannya ya. I'm so tired, man. <laughs> I know, I can see that you're very tired. Kita ngomong sama dia akhirnya pakai bahasa Inggris loh. Gue harus menyesuaikan sih ngomong sama siapa sih memang sih. So, how do you feel now? Uh, uh, I'm re I'm ready to get trashed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very intense ya. Yeah. Very Ooh. intense. Uh, then tadi memang kelihatan kelihatan banget gitu. Kenapa? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What happened with that? Um, you eh. know, sometimes things just don't go your way. <laughs> so I guess so, that's what happened today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, yes, you're right. Sometimes it happened. But Are you allowed to swear on live? It's not a swear. It's not a swear. <laughs> thank you guys yeah, so Thank you much. judges. Thank you judges. Thank you. Wow, seru banget. Terima kasih banyak Shay Lovely Pak. Seru banget deh. Oke, okay, kelihatannya memang lagi capek banget dan kelihatannya ini to relieve your stress. Please clean up the station ya. Okay. To release your stress. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, it's okay goddess, it's okay. Well, itulah tadi penampilan dari Shay Lovely Pak dari Alter Ego Bali yang merupakan Finalis keempat kita di Indonesia Coffee in Good Spirits 2020-2021.